Poland. It was 30 years ago, during the 1970s and 1980s, when electivists, the climate totalitarians, the global ruling class elites, climate change, NIPSI as we call it, is a group that's been around publishing comprehensive volumes on the climate change that's been affordable and abundant, where carbon dioxide emissions have declined, where our economy has prospered. This is a strong scientist. I mean, most people call the honest scientists. There are there are one thing where we actually definitely don't differ is that climate change is happening. I mean, it always happened. I mean, there is no stable climate. And um, if there is a warming, then we, one knows, this is a common knowledge, that the warming isn't necessarily equal. So while, for example, the one part cools, the other part warms up. And there are even cycles. Okay, and where we now definitely differ is where we say, okay, the premise is wrong, you know. In, because the premise, which the perceived premise is, that there is man-made global warming and it is proven. And uh, so what people forget, we talk about scenarios built on models. And these models, of course, built on assumptions. It's a non-brainer. You know, if you can afford it, of course, you have to do it. I mean, it's always like people, other scientists, they mm. have to do it to exchange and things they have to make. And we just... I mean, it's... But, it's a political decision that there is man-made global warming. And this, the scientists know, the so academic institutions know, and therefore if you want to get funding, you have to basically accept this premise. So first thing, uh, we need to stick to the facts. So when there are comments about the rigor of the report, it's important to look at the arguments and uh, mistakes exist. And the IPCC has a courage random process. When mistakes are identified, they are corrected. That's how science is progressing. What's also important is to distinguish um, people who produce knowledge and people who have opinion on knowledge. Um, it's really different. Um, and sometimes I hear uh, commentaries that are not grounded in actually the reading of the report by itself and are uh, in yeah. fact very distinct from the substance of the report. Yeah, if that's the case, then and, and if, they, if what they claim is true, then we should be, things should be getting colder, right? All these elements shape the variability from year to year. It's clear that the um, warming trend can only be explained by the uh, response of climate to uh, more greenhouse gas emissions and their accumulation in the atmosphere. And what we observed is consistent with basic physics, with the outcome of theoretical work as well as numerical climate models. It doesn't mean that solar activity, volcanic activity, natural variations don't play a role, but they don't explain the observed warming. And today, most of the warming that is observed is attributed to human activities, with an uncertainty of about 20%.